Yo, what is up guys, and today we have a Danny Alves, a player review, the right back for FC Barcelona. Looking at his um, card stats, he's got very good all-round card stats, 90 pace, 72 shooting, 81 passing, 83 dribbling, 79 defending, and 72 heading. He's got high-low work rates, right-footed, 3-star weak foot, 4-star skills, and he cost me 60k on the PS3. Going through his in-game stats, I'll point out the main ones. He's got a lot in the green, but he also has an 85 crossing, 85 stand tackle, and 87 dribbling. Very good physical attributes as well, with, with a 90 agility, 90 reactions, 93 sprint speed, and 86 jumping. So very good in-game stats. Now going through his gameplay. So I'll first talk about Danny Alves in attack, and in attack he's just amazing. Links up with his right winger or right mid, depending on the formation you are playing him in. And he basically plays like a right winger himself because of those high-low work rates. He's also got amazing dribbling and uh, very good passing, and also got great long shots. As I mentioned before, 93 uh, shot power, so don't be afraid to have a dig with Danny Alves. Incredible long shots. And yeah, he's just amazing in attack and he creates overlaps for you um, if you need it. And then you'll cross it in like he's got 85 crossing. So he's got very good crossing. So if you've got a target man in the box, he'll get it into him and throw a lovely cross uh, to your striker. So he's just great in attack. And uh, he's also got four-star skills, so he's basically a skiller's dream, and that's why he plays like, well, he feels like he plays like another right winger or right mid in your team. But obviously, with his great attack comes a little bit of a weakness in defense. He doesn't have that bad of defending, but because of his uh, high-low work rates, you'll find he's out of position in defense, but he does have 90 pace, so he can scramble back and make a last-ditch tackle. But yes, against left wingers uh, with high-low work rates, you find Danny Alves will struggle to mark that a left winger, and that's definitely Danny Alves' problem. But mo quickly moving on to his heading, he's got a very a decent heading for a right back. Obviously, it's not as good as a centre back. But for a right back, it is pretty good, and I didn't really have any problems with his heading. So I'll just quickly say I use the Sentinel chemistry cell, and that would be the chemistry cell I recommend. It increases defending and heading. He's pretty much he's got good stats in everything else, so uh, that's the chemistry cell I recommend. Um, another one would be Guardian, but I'll definitely go with Sentinel as my first choice. So guys, uh, just to sum it up. I would give Danny Alves a 8.4 out of 10. Um, I highly recommend it to the skillers of the FIFA community as well as someone who may be struggling to score goals. Just get Danny Alves to provide an extra attacking option. But if you're looking for a defensive right back, I uh, wouldn't really recommend Danny Alves because of those high-low work rates. He uh, does struggle defensively. So this is the end of the video and I'll catch you guys or later. Thanks for watching.